back to my channel. I'm Vicky, and I love everything fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. Okay, you guys, we're back with another video, finally. <laughs> I was supposed to have definitely um recorded stuff last week y'all it's okay so I did the vlog last week Sunday it's been like a whole 10 days and I'm glad that I showed my hair when it got done because otherwise I would have no proof that I ever do it well get it done that don't mean nothing if you are interested in this collective haul then just keep on watching so before i get into the actual haul i have some friend mail that i am super excited to share with you all so i received this from my boo my baby i just her name's chanel and she told me that i should probably stop saying her name so i get tired of hearing it and it's not gonna happen so chanel sent me some goodies and you guys i just I am shooketh, all right? But let me just let you know what she sent. So first, this is Oud Sahara. And this is from Gourmand Beauty. Y'all know I collect these like Pokemon, okay? Gotta catch them all, right? <laughs> and this one is definitely a stronger... It's kind of... It smells like spicy. This kind of puts me in like the mindset... Now that I'm smelling it again, of like, I don't know, like a cigar lounge or something. Something about this is cozy, smoky. You get kind of that like oud vibe. So um, I'm not sure why I don't have this yet, but I'm glad that I have it now because I'm pretty sure I may have seen this in the stores and I don't know why I haven't picked it up, but I don't have to worry about that. So next this is um coco creme i've got a hair on my finger Hold on. <laughs> sorry next is coco creme and this let me i don't know if that's like a citrus in the top it's something kind of like it's giving also giving me like a white floral vibe so i don't know if that's like two bros it's just very soft and pretty. This will be very good for the summer. So it's kind of giving me like a summer floral vibe. So that one's really cute. What else is over here? Um, There are these, this um Ellis Brooklyn, uh, what is this called? I think it's like a sample set. So it's got, you know, what's that? Three, there's five cents there. So there's Myth, Salt, Sweet, B, and West. So super excited to smell these because um, I don't always gravitate towards the Ellis Brooklyn scents um, when I'm like in Sephora smelling things. I don't know why, but I'm super interested in smelling some scents from the line, except for that milk one because I don't like that one. So next she sent, this is, um, they're both in the vanilla scent, a lip gloss and a nourishing lip mask. So how cute is that? This will go really good with like a self-care routine, you know. Next, she sent some wax melts. So I have two in the Cotton Candy Cloud scent. And I may or may not have tried this before, but I don't remember what it smells like. Sugary, smells very sweet. So that should be really cute. And then the next one here is line dried linen. I don't even have to smell this and I'm gonna love this because I love linen type of scents. Ugh. Smells amazing. <laughs> there is this cherry treat conditioning lip oil from Fenty Skin. And I actually did record this for like um, a reel on um, Instagram. And I realized I had forgot this. This had fell somewhere and I didn't find it until well after the fact. But that's what that looks like. I have never tried this before. So is this like gloss lip oil or is this like something that you put on before bed? I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. So next there's a little baggie here with some goodies. And these are actually 
like things you put on your Crocs. So we've got one here that says Chanel, very in line with the brooch I put on. <laughs> um, I have one from, there's a Gucci one. There's a Saint Laurent one. These are really cute. Um, there's a Chanel number no. five bottle here. And then there's also a Louis Vuitton one, super cute. Um, I actually have been meaning to get a black pair of Crocs. And I don't know if I want like the full, like the regular pair or if I want to do like some sandals or slides or whatever. But now I have something really cute to dress them up with when I um, get another pair. The current pair I have now, they're like this tie-dye color. Um, and I've got like, I think pizza little things on them. So these need to go with something a little more cute than the ones I already have. She also sent me some samples. She sent um, lemon, I think it's lemon pomegranate cream, which was an older scent from Bath and Body Works that they haven't brought back yet. This one smells really fruity, um, juicy, very fun. So that one's really nice. And then she also sent me a sample of Velvet Teddy from MAC. And I didn't know what to expect when, um, when I saw the notes. And I just assumed it would be something I wouldn't like, but y'all, yeah. okay? That smells so good. It kind of smells like Dr. Pepper a little bit, um, but in a good way. It gives me like a speakeasy vibe. As soon as I smelled it, I was like, this is giving like speakeasy cigar lounge, you know, that's exactly what was in my head when I smelled it and it's so good. And I want it. So I need to um, figure out if I'm going to actually like seriously hunt for it now or wait and hope that it pops up for a good price online somewhere. I don't know. But all I know is Velvet Teddy smells really good. And I'm wondering if I could use the scent with Soda Pop because that one's more of a playful um, soda scent. Um, and maybe add something like smoky to it. Like, hmm. Actually, I wonder if I added like Oud Sahara or something else that's that has like a smoky element to it to the Lasota Pop, and maybe I'll get there. It also makes me wonder if that Velvet, if Velvet Teddy smells anything like Rouge Smoking. I think that's the one that I've seen reviews that they say it kind of smells like Dr Pepper from BDK. So. I might want to get a sample of that to see if it smells like Velvet Teddy and maybe I'll go that route if um, it does. Anyways, let me get back into this friend meal. So next there's this candle in the cherry cola scent. And honestly, this smells so good. Oh, I feel like with the Velvet Teddy scent i would love if i have that or if i get it or a scent like it i would love to put something cherry with it so there's that next she sent me a raspberry jam donut lotion y'all we are all not so patiently waiting for bath and body works to bring this back because this smells so good i ran out i finished my set was it this year or last year it doesn't matter i finished the set um and oh <laughs> this smells heavenly so so glad that i get to experience raspberry jam donut again she also sent some pajamas but of course i don't know where i put them so we're just gonna move on but there's some very cute um comfy pajamas next she sent me the um this tree hut set of the new tree hut scent birthday cake in the scrub and butter this smells like the boxed funfetti cake to me wait let me i think this kind of smells like a crust like pie crust so this one smells cute that one's nice and then the scrub yeah it kind of smells like crust to me so it looks like funfetti but it smells kind of like pie crust to me, for now at least. Um, and y'all, 
I still haven't seen these in my area yet. I keep checking the Target. Well, well, I haven't checked in like a week, but I was looking on the Target app and it kept saying it was in some stores and I never saw it. I still haven't seen it, even though I've been to Target for like other reasons. I always just go see like if it's there and the Targets I go to haven't seen it yet. But I'm super grateful that I'm not like out hunting for this anyways, because Chanel was so kind enough to gift it to me. And then y'all, yeah. like <laughs> I opened the box. I was just like, excuse me. <laughs> Is that, that's not, no. Um, But it was y'all. Yeah. Chanel has made me a bond girl, okay? She put, a bottle of bond number nine madison avenue in my friend mail like excuse me if i can get the box open oh i feel like i should have saw that happening but anyways here's the bottle so this is like a spicy blackberry floral. I'm trying to figure out, is that rose? I actually can look that up real quick. So the notes in Madison Avenue in the top, we have apple, blackberry, and bergamot. In the middle is rose, magnolia, jasmine. And in the base is patchouli, praline, and ambroxan. So I was right about the spiciness. There's patchouli and it's like, like I said, a spicy blackberry rose scent and this one is not like a juicy blackberry but it's a blackberry um but i feel like you can play it up however you want i feel like i had had or still have a sample of this somewhere um and i remember trying this with um black raspberry vanilla from bath and body works so i can do that and i think i have more blackberry scented body care now like blackberries and basil um or i might even try like raspberry or i might try like an apple scent or just like a rose scent because i have that rose lotion from um love beauty and planet so i got some ideas for this but this is a nice like springtime scent in my opinion very very pretty and something about bond number nine scents that just make me feel put together if you will despite the fact that i just dropped it i'm sorry Sorry. So that's my friend mail. Thank you so much, Chanel, for sending me that. I definitely appreciate it. Um, definitely appreciate all of the support. Um, and in addition to Chanel, just everyone in general who watches my content, always supporting and rooting for me. I definitely really, really appreciate you all. So um, let's get into the haul before I get, you know, on too much of a tangent there. So I went in the Target the other day and I needed coffee and I think tweezers because I couldn't find my tweezers for the life of me. I found them the day when I wasn't even looking for them. Um, but I got some more of these Nespresso Virtual Pods and the Veranda Blend um, from the Starbucks Veranda Blend. So... There's that. Picked up these Revlon tweezers. Um, because I really struggle with those um lash tweezers. Like they don't really work that well for me. I don't know if it's because I have nails or what, but I don't I'm not able to apply my lashes as well with those. I need regular tweezers. And there's one more thing in the friend mail that I just looked over and saw. She sent a perfume spray for Among the Clouds. And I was looking for this um, like in stores like months ago and I could never find it. So, so glad to have this. Um, the next thing I picked up from Target is from the lip bar. Some, look, there's some things in here I ain't need, okay? Um, and this is in the shade It Girl. So I've never tried the lip bar before, but the shade just looks like really cute. You know, it's one of those typical Target trips where you always end up leaving with something that you had no business um picking up so that's what the shade looks like that's pretty that's pretty okay and then the last item i picked up is from nyx 
It is the Ultimate Glow Shots. It's a liquid eyeshadow. And the shade... <laughs> the shade is a plum player. So that's what the packaging looks like. And then that's what the shade looks like. And I'm actually wearing this today. Um, so I put it on and I kind of use it more so as like a base for the glitter shadow I put on over it. So that's what it looks like. And, um, I used my, I used a shade out of the Amrezy palette, like to put on top of it. And I think it looks real cute. It's, it's cute. So that's my quick little Target haul. So next, I need to get into like the finale of the Sephora VIB sale, um, finally, so I can put this stuff up and start using it. So first I picked up, well, I feel like I hauled this in the car, but I have the one size um, mattifying setting spray. I got the big bottle. I was actually looking for the small one. I'm kind of glad I got the big one because I feel like I'm probably gonna go through that smaller bottle quickly, well, quicker than I am anticipating because I'm trying to go outside twice a month now. <laughs> Next, I have the big um, Cherosa number 40. This is the Bombdia mist. Um, I just, I don't know what they gonna do. Like they're, they, they came out with some new scents they snuck 39 away so i just need to make sure i have a little something extra Next, i have this glycolic acid from the ordinary brand um i was seeing ways that you could use this well the one way i saw was that you can use this um on your underarms to um keep like odor away and for me i'm interested in seeing if that works more so with it getting hotter um, and you start sweating more, um, even though like the saltier deodorant I've been using lately, you know, it works, but I feel like you can never have too much protection when you're out and it's warm and everything. Cause we don't want to have any, we don't want to risk no, no type of odors. Okay. And it doesn't matter. Like, even if you shower in the morning, something, sometimes like once that heat starts hitting your body and you start sweating, I don't know what happened, but. I just want to try this out and see if it works. So next, I picked up some concealers from the Sephora brand. This is called Best Skin Ever. And these, this is 35N and this is 53.5N. So I um, actually forgot about these because I would probably try using these today. Um, the 35N, I'm thinking as like, a brighten brightener whatever for like you know sculpting under the brows and under eye and then this 53.5 kind of looks like it's close to me i don't know i don't recall swatching this in the store or maybe i did but i'm interested in trying these out next i picked up this multi-tasking baked face powder in the shade mocha from the sephora brand so that's what that looks like. Um, I did try putting like a little bit of this on earlier. Um, I'm not sure if I was successful at really applying it because I'm kind of out of brushes at this point, like clean brushes. So I really need to wash my brushes in the worst way now because I don't have any more face brushes. So that was, it was a struggle. We got it together, but it was a little bit of a struggle. Um, next I'm trying, well, next I picked up this Sephora brand gloss. It's called Glossed. And the shade is Driven, which is number 60. This one is really cute. Next, I got my trusty brow pencils from Sephora. Um, this is in the shade Ebony, which is number 11. Y'all know I talk about these a lot. So I'm not going to harp on them, but yeah. I realized the sale was almost over and I hadn't picked up any brow pencil. So I was like, girl, what's happening here? So next, I remember watching um, Shaughnessy Sephora. I don't know if it was a haul or recommendations, but it's um, the Gwen Stefani brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. So if you know how to pronounce this, please let me know 
It's the Bubble Pop Electric High Performance Lip Gloss. So that's what the packaging looks like. And the colors, I don't know if my camera is going to like focus, but the colors, I, oh snap, I have dolled up an electric pansy. <laughs> um, so here's what they look like. So dolled up is on top and electric pansy is on the bottom. I tried um I tried these on in the store. So I went in. Now this is how they be getting me in Sephora. I think I said this before, but when I'm like scrolling on the app and I'm like interested in like what something might look like on me, I always scroll to see if they have a dark skin model, just you know, someone that's close to my complexion. And that's how they get me. If it, I'm like, if it looks cute on her, then I might need to have it. So um, I think I might insert the picture of the model wearing the electric pansy shade because I saw that and that was I was in the store the next day. I'm like, I got to go back because I need to try this on. And I thought it looked really cute. And then I thought I would, because there were other shades there. So I thought I would try this on. So I had wiped that off, put this on. And this one was cute too. Um, it's a nice like bubblegum pink kind of like nudie or whatever and i think like uh a, like a dark lip liner or whatever will really go a long way with this too but either way i thought they were really cute as you can see and the last item i got from the sephora sale is the soleil blanc um shimmering body oil from tom ford something that was on my wish list um, I had sprayed this on my skin and I like the scent, first of all. Um, and I like that it's a fine, like the, it's not like obnoxiously glittery. I like that it was a nice fine glitter. So that's really nice. I'm interested to see how it may or may not transfer, you know, when you're, you're moving around because when, um, I was wearing the Fenty um glow i think that's what it's called you know the body shimmer from fenty and i remember i was in vegas i had it on like all all my skin that was all like so my legs my arms and i remember getting out of one of the ubers i was in and i could i could see the outline of <laughs> me in their car and i was like oh so i'm interested in i wonder if this is the same that's ultimately the point i'm trying to get to but nonetheless this smells really good so next um the cookie butter release the cookie butter body oil from skin potion has um released now listen okay let me let me just say this respectfully of course so please just understand it's coming from a good place when it comes to skin potion or like Dawkins or Rome, like you need to treat it like Telfar. If you know how it how hard it is to secure a Telfar, well, it was. I've never had an issue, knock on wood. But you know, when they say the drop or the release is on this day at this time, you need to be on there like it's Telfar. So hypothetically, they say the drops at 3 p.m. At 3.30, whatever you're looking for is probably gone. At at 3.45, it's gone. At 3.15, it's probably gone. Um, because I um, I follow Skin Potion. And I remember they had, I think it was like a 4 p.m. drop. At literally like 4.08, they were posting on their stories, sold out. So if you if you like really really want something from these brands that don't frequently restock you need to be ready you need to set an alarm keep a mental note so that when they say it's gonna be dropping on this day and it's time you ready to go so do with that what you will i'm not saying it to be rude or sarcastic i'm saying it because I'm, I'm serious because I missed out on the um, Kama Sutra oil a couple months ago because I forgot about it. And then at like 10 minutes later, after the release had started, it was gone. So speaking on experience, just letting you know, if when these brands restock, 
you need to be ready and you need to sign up for their um restock notifications as well so that's just that but i still have to say i got the cookie butter um body oil from skin potion y'all this this right here so it came i remember it delivered i had opened it now my one hang up is i like struggle with this top getting this off i don't have the same issue with my kama sutra one so but be careful if you have this same issue as me because i realized i was turning it and i was opening it at the same time and we don't want to spill our product okay but i like struggle a little bit to get the top off but other than that you know it's cool so i try not to push it down all the way i push it down a little bit so that i know it's on there but not too far to where i can't get it back off but anyways this had arrived i spray i sprayed i put a little on my arm smelled really good very aromatic and then um i had like took a nap not too long after that. i went and laid down and i kid you not all I could smell while I was sleeping was this. Like, it was like, in my, I was like, am I dreaming about this scent? But like, it was all I could smell. It was all of my senses. And I only put like a little bit on my arm. And that's all I could smell. And it, this, okay. I cannot wait to um, start wearing it. Even though it's about to get really warm, I feel like I need at least one or two good wears out of this before it starts to get like hot and I'm scared to pull it out. So that's cookie butter. Smells good. If you want it, you need to go to the Skin Potions website, sign up for their um, restock notifications. You need to follow them on um, social media so that you can see when they post about it so that you are well aware and you are ready to go so last for this haul i was gonna i did buy some more dua fragrances <laughs> but i think i'm just going to do the dua separately and then you know make that video where i'm talking about dua um because i just feel like my wish list for dua is probably never gonna end because as soon as i get an order um i see something else so I'm just gonna do do a separately and we're gonna have like a little do a chat. Um, anyways, this last part is my Dawkins order. Okay, so the first thing I got from first things um from Dua, I got deodorants. And I've never tried this type of deodorant before, but I picked up three and I probably should have just picked up one just to see if I would like it, because what if I don't like this? Um it's uh natural deodorant and they come in these little jars so this first one i got is in the scent fresh and it smells fresh nice and clean it kind of almost smells like pink cotton so i picked up three deodorants and they each come with their own like little scoop thing so you can um scoop them you know when you um use them i wonder like if they if these are like hard or not it actually like feels pretty soft. So that should be fairly like easy to apply. But this kind of, this fresh one kind of smells like pink cotton. So I don't know if I just bought the same thing twice, but that's okay because I ain't gonna hold y'all. I have been obsessed with pink cotton lately. And I just, I just, I've been craving it and I've been loving it and I need to do my favorites video like I said I was uh next speaking of which I got one in pink cotton and this now I'm wondering if this is the fresh one and that one is pink cotton because this smells really light so I don't know I don't care because you know they're gonna get used as long as they don't irritate the skin and the last one i picked up is candy citrus and this needs to be in another form this is aromatic it's fruity juicy bubbly this one is good this is so good 
this needs to be like an oil or like a spray or something because this one smells really good so next i also wanted to try the baby it's not baby it's body powder so that's what it looks like if you guys you will see a recurring theme pink cotton has been heavy in my rotation and it's you know mm. so it's powder i'm not gonna take the well maybe i will just to see what it looks like but i need to be careful because y'all know yep it's powder it kind of looks like setting powder actually it looks like my laura mercier <laughs> Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And they give you a powder puff to use um, with the body powder, so it'll be easy to apply. And again, I think that'd be great for like, if it's a hot day or whatever, you apply it to your skin, like especially in places where you sweat, like for me in between, you know, those rolls I got. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. I'm gonna just keep it consistent, okay? I picked up a pink cotton candle because y'all the scent the scent is just i have been obsessed and i've never tried their candles before so i'm interested in trying them out for one and why not try pink cotton so next i got a body well i got some body oils the first one is in opulence and this is a scent that I raved about from Dawkins. And I really felt like Opulence is my favorite scent. But the way I have been using Pink Cotton lately, I think it's a seasonal thing. Because now it's getting warmer and I'm starting to want to wear more fresh scents. So maybe that's why I've been more so into Pink Cotton than Opulence. But I just, I love Opulence. Um, so I'm excited to try this out. And in case you don't know, Opulence is their mashup of um, Tom Ford Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge 540 The Extra. It smells amazing. Next, I'm trying two of their... Uh, yeah, these are two new scents. So the first one is Creme de Fleur. And this is their impression of Giorgio Armani's C. So I have to just get this in the oil format because I already have two bottles of um C and like a big bottle and a small bottle so I'm not gonna run out of that like at least not anytime soon this smells very pretty so I did you know dab a little bit of this on my skin earlier it smells very very pretty it's a very pretty girl scent so if you want to do like a nice soft floral vibe or even something sweet this would be a really great addition to that routine and the next oil I picked up is the Banane Brulee. I don't know if the S is silent or not, but that's what that looks like. And they've repackaged the oil so that they now have droppers, which I'm grateful for because I've been... Okay, so this isn't part of the haul. This is my pink cotton one. And first of all, it takes a lot to get to the little bit of dent that I have in there because this is like full to the brim. And a little bit, like I said, goes a long way. But it's it's tough because you literally like have to pour it out i could probably transfer this to something else that like has a dropper but it's like the packaging the glass bottles anyways this is their banana scent and i think it has um banana tonka bean matter of fact the site's open let me pull it up so this is candy bananas toffee sugar crystals and whipped cream so i tried this on i think i sprayed the mist and not the i didn't use the oil i sprayed the mint the perfume which this is also let me just call the perfume <laughs> so i got the perfume and oil let me just do that but yeah i sprayed this and it like my experience of this scent is it started out like powdery, like you can smell the banana. It was sweet, but powdery. It's sweet, powdery. It does smell like a banana Laffy Taffy. And I feel like I saw that in a description on Instagram from uh, the Daily Self Care Journey. I think she said banana Laffy Taffy and I do get the banana Laffy Taffy. And it's just very playful. And then it dries down. And honestly, 
chocolate's not listed as a note but once this dried all the way down like i was smelling my arm like an hour later it kind of reminded me of choco musk so something in the dry down gives it a chocolate vibe at least to me on my skin and i'm here for it so this one absolutely enjoy and i think this is it for the dawkins haul and this is a sample size of caribbean crush and this is a mash of tom tom ford's lost cherry and creed virgin island water y'all i didn't know what to expect when i saw that because i've smelled island creed island water before at virgin island water i think i smelled it before and this is this gives me like a vacation vibe and i feel like i should have got this in a big bottle i didn't know what to expect because i know that has a line note in it so i didn't know how strong the line would be but they did a very good job of making sure that that tom that lost cherry element is very present so this is definitely a great summer scent and i signed up for the restock because when they restock this in a big size i'm gonna need to have it okay real quick i know it's super ghetto but there is something i forgot in this haul that just dawned on me even though i've changed my shirt i just need to haul it so <laughs> I bought these bras from the brand Parade. It was recommended by Star. Her, on her page is Star Stunning Self Care. She has a code. I think it's 20% off. And the code is star.stunning.selfcare. I will have the Parade website and her discount code linked down there in the description. Because um it's actually very comfortable i have been wearing them for like the last three or four days um they're wireless and they're very it's like i'm still feeling like i'm being supported but i don't have like any digging in like my sides which is a huge issue for bras once you get to be you know probably 38 40 band size um but yeah I forgot it and I told her, I had reached out to her and told her um, I enjoyed her recommendation. Forgot to mention it in the haul. So I'm just gonna slide this on in. So that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video.